Hello, this is Leandro Marini from Local Hero Post, and this is a scratch tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at doing a simple paint out uh, VFX uh, within Scratch uh, using texture layers. So here I've got a shot from a film shot by a friend of mine, uh, Chapin Hall, called Serena Song. Shot on uh, the MX Red with anamorphic lenses. Um, and it's a nice nighttime scene by the lake, except he had to leave a flag in the shot. And uh, there it is. And it's, it's stopping us from seeing the light that is lighting the lake. And he knew that he would have to paint it out after the fact, uh, called us up and we told him uh, it's not going to be a problem. So let's, uh, let's do our best to do a very simple paint out uh, fix there in Scratch. So let's do a simple grade on this first of all. Uh, again, we are not using a panel on this uh, tutorial. This is all just being uh, done with the keyboard in Scratch. Let's do a very simple moonlight grade on this. Okay, I'm just gonna just because I'm, I'm a nitpicker, I'm just going to do a very quick uh, bit of knocking down some of the, uh, the light that we don't want in this scene. So I'm just going to draw a very big sloppy shape. Fix it a little bit. Okay. I'm just going to knock down the, uh, the luma around her. Okay, looks good. Okay, so now I'm going to try to uh, paint out this, uh, this flag here. So we'll look around to see what we can steal that might work for painting that out. Looks like this clump of tree here is going to work best. So what I'll do is just make a simple shape here. Now let's call it tree fix. Okay. And I'm going to steal this big clump of tree here. going to leave enough space around it so that I can soften it a bunch if I need to. Go to Texture, and I'm going to do Map on Canvas instead. So now I can drag this piece around, and you can see where this is going. It's going to be very simple, but I think it's going to work for our purposes. So let's soften the edge on that. And now it's about softening it, softening it into place until it looks realistic. So... I would say that that looks pretty realistic if we were to now soften all the edges. Uh, let's go do that. So we're going to make it nice and bumpy here because that's going to be the defined edge that the audience is going to hopefully not look at, but if they look over there they will see that. And then what we'll do is we'll do a nice big soft on the inner edge of this to uh, and make it kind of jagged and strange. Um, to try to blend it into the rest of the, this dark tree as easily as we can. And of course this is just a, you know, a tweak thing. You make a tweak and uh, take a look at it and if it looks realistic, great. Yeah, I think that looks pretty realistic. Let's make this edge not so perfect so it doesn't look like just a big round shape. So I'm just going to make it a little jagged and strange and see if I can't make it look a little bit less like a vector shape drawn by a computer. Okay, better. Yeah, I'm going to change that even a little bit more. I see a little bit of the flag here. It's just not feeling quite right just yet. So I'm going to bring this out, bring that down, bring this to the left. Just trying to make this kind of random. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. So there you go. Flag has been painted out. No one knows the difference. You can, if you need to, obviously grade this a little bit if you need to do anything to it. But I think it's pretty good as is. So we're just going to leave it uh, just like this. And uh, let's see how it looks in motion. Pretty convincing. Okay, that's it. That's using uh, texture layers to uh, do a little bit of paint. Again, if this was a moving shot, you could just track that in 
You could re use recur recursive scaffolds to uh, clone out anything else that you didn't want to cover it, but those are the basics. Thank you for watching.